a little mod to dress up the Jeep Gladiator Gladi Board. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. And today, I'm going to do a little mod to dress up the Gladi board in the back of the Jeep Gladiator. Now, if you're not familiar with that, let me show you what I'm talking about. I put this board, kind of dressed it up a little bit. I call it the Gladi board, uh, in the back of the Gladiator to keep stuff from rolling to the back of the bed when I want it stacked right here in the front. But one thing I've not been a real fan of with what I've done is the felt on the edges. And that's the way that it attaches and kind of the way that it looks. Let me pull it out of here and show you what I'm talking about. The whole idea, of course, is to protect the paint over there from being scratched up by the end of the boards, right? You know, the wood here. But what I did, let me turn it around for you is put some felt on there and you can see what it looks like. It doesn't have a really good finished look, right? So I'm gonna do something to kind of dress this up a little bit and to more kind of match the green theme that I'm going with on the truck. What I'm gonna do, made a little trip to Lowe's this morning, picked up some green. Did you know they have green duct tape? Pretty cool, uh, but picked up some green duct tape um, because I'm going to take these black ends off, this felt stuff, and well, that's really loose, and I'm going to replace it. Now, my original idea was to find some end caps, so I picked these up. But I got to say, they're oversized, they don't fit well, and they kind of stick up about a quarter inch if they're up against the bottom of the board. You guys can see right there. You see here, they don't fit well. Um, I even tried to shrink one, and all it did was melt. So, came up with another idea, and that was to cover the ends with a little bit of this green um, duct tape. And you can get duct tape in a bunch of different colors. They have black, blue, red, yellow, you name it. Um, so, let me set you up, and I'll show you how I'm going to attempt to do this. We've got the end off here. You guys can see the black felt I had on. Now the key to doing this, because I've experimented a little bit, is actually uh, good sharp clean edges because that when you fold the tape over itself, it's going to make things show up um, a lot less as far as seams and things. So I'm going to just cut this off at the bottom. I'm going to take the board and I'm going to lay it down from the top like this, um, trying to get it even if you will. There we go, now we'll just flip it around and just kind of smooth it across the top of the board, if you will. We're just gonna go ahead and fold the edges over, right? And I'm just gonna kind of outline the board on the top here, and then just fold the edges along the sides over. This is the best way i found to do it. And again, we're gonna tape over those edges so it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to lay flat or it's gonna show through uh, on the other side. And then uh, for the sides here, um, I'm just gonna fold those down and then we'll snip the edges off. I want it actually pinched at the corners like so. There's not a whole lot to pinch, so that's a good thing. And then I'm just gonna fold it down. Because again, we're just gonna, we're gonna snip those off here in a second. Okay, this next part, um, you want to start kind of in the middle of what's going to be on the bottom in the truck because that's where the only seam you could see is and it'll be on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is just take the top, the tape rather, kind of even with the top edge of the board here and wrap it all around. We're going to do that twice. We'll start right here in the center. That's the idea anyway close to it again not an exact science so won't be a big deal if you're a hair off and I am a hair off so and then just wrap it around doing the same thing kind of staying at the top of the board 
And this will stretch. There's a little bit of forgiveness in it before it starts to make a seam. So you can kind of screw it up a little if you will, and I'm sure I will. And just continue wrapping it around. Okay, that is the finished product. You can see the seam right here. I think it'll show you yeah, right here. That's on the bottom edge, so you're never going to see that. Um, just a way to kind of, again, keep it nice and protected or keep the paint protected from the wood. That's the whole idea here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other edge, and then I'll show you the finished product. I got it all done. You can see the finished product behind me here. Let me show you a little closer up. Um, you can see the ends. It actually came out pretty good. And keep in mind, you're not going to be able to see these ends or the bottom where the tape is or where the seam is, I should say. So I think it came out pretty good. Again, the whole idea is to kind of dress it up a little bit and protect the paint inside the truck from the board rubbing up against it. Now, you might be wondering why I went green. Well, I could have gone black and stayed with the black gladiator lettering on there, which might have looked better. I don't know. But... I'm kind of going for a green kind of accent theme on the truck, and I know it doesn't match exactly, but the idea is just green, right? So let's go ahead, get it put in here, and see what it looks like actually inside the truck. Finagle it in here a little bit. There we go. And I got to say, it actually fits a little bit better without the felt on it uh, because it's not so tight. So it fits a little bit better um, at this length. And there's a little bit of movement. That's okay. I want it to move a little bit. So not a big deal. That makes it easy to get in and out if I want to. But there is the finished look. That's what I've got. Of course, it can be done in a few different colors uh, or just black with the black gladiator badging or any other badging you want to put on it. It can be Mojave. It can be anything you want, really. Uh, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, again, the idea is to have a green theme, that green with this green, obviously a different shade, but still, you get the general idea. Anyway, that is my little sprucing up of the Gladi board. I'm curious if anybody uh, has any interest in these. I've been kicking it around thinking of maybe making some and selling them. I don't know if anybody's interested. If you are, just let me know. Um, and what do you think something like this is worth? I'd be curious. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma up there. Also, I have a third channel. It's Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport Hatch and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out. If you like them, please subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.